So what are your expectations, man? Expectations? I need to be inspired. That's my expectation. All right. Hopefully it won't inspired, disappoint. Inspired by good work. Yeah. Let's see. What's nice about the pavilion, they have all these different types of sessions, labs, live labs, live streaming going on. You can come in, pop in, they'll scan your car just like you just saw. And, um, oh, sorry. I didn't see yeah, even, if you, even if you know the software already, it's just good to like just talk to people. Um, you know, get your feet wet, get a refresher, just you know, talk with creatives. That's what, that's what this is all about, being here, being immersed, being connective and uh, having a good time. So I'm gonna have to interject right here. I've been using my iPhone 8 Plus with the anamorphic lens and this gimbal here, the GGI gimbal. And the problem I was having is I'm using the Filmic Pro app to record most of the, the footage you saw so far, but when I was importing it, the audio got janky. There's not a lot of audio there. Yes, yeah, so I'm going to have to give the rest of the, the update via this way. So basically, here are some of the positives from, from Adobe Max. One, you get to hear some creative insight um, from big names like Jonathan Adler, uh, who is a potter and interior designer. Um, Anna Griffin, who is Griffith, 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 or Griff, Griffith, 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 mm -hmm. Griffith. She is a uh, photographer. She is National Geographic's first woman photographer. Phenomenal work, and her message is, is incredible. And then John, John Faru, I apologize if I butchered that name, but I love his work. One of my favorite movies is Chef, and he's working on Lion King and stuff like that. So hearing their insight was really really good because I've been struggling on just creating work and one thing I appreciate about Jonathan Adler hold on give me this <laughs> one thing I appreciate appreciate about Jonathan Adler uh, his creative process if he has an idea he'll just go do it and I've been struggling with just the why I always get hung up on oh if I do this why am I doing it and that's a good thing to ask you that ask yourself that question but it stops me from making work. So I really appreciate that. And then, you know, Anna's message was create positive work with a good message to change people's lives. And I appreciate that as well. Another huge positive, no pun intended, but this was the largest Adobe Max in the past four years. I think they've been doing this now. And it's about over 12,000 people there. Not just people, but creatives. And so having that atmosphere is probably one of the best feelings as a creative to connect with somebody else who's in the same field or a different field that you can pick knowledge off of. So you have people all over the place from marketing, from photography, from graphic design, uh, 3D design, drone work, like all over the place. And so having that body, that, that system, that collective mind all being there for one purpose to just learn and grow as creatives and networking, that was, that was a super great feeling. And plus having my buddy, my bro, my homie, Omar with me down there in Vegas too. That was, that is something to, to really take in mind if you are planning to go to Adobe Max, but I'll get to that later on. Some other cool things that came out of it, of course, this is where they showcase their new uh, softwares for the programs, for all the programs, for all their apps. Um, the ones that pertain to me and ma matter the most, uh, Adobe Premiere gets a faster, gets some faster internal updates. Photoshop gets an update as well. We get like new puppet tools you can use. Probably the biggest update coming out of that, or well, two big updates coming out of that. I like, I really like using the Adobe Capture app and I have a few videos on my channel already. Bless you. <laughs> anyway, Adobe Capture app, one of my favorite apps. Um, I have a few videos about it, how I use it. And they updated to have a feature where you can scan fonts so if you see a particular font that you like you can take a photo of it and it will scan it and using typekit it will find similar fonts to it and you can ma manipulate that font as well 
And I thought that was a really cool idea because I really like using that app to just collect color palettes, shapes, brushes. And now this, huge positive. And of course, like my other video talks about Lightroom. Lightroom is updated and it's split into two parts. A completely cloud-based service, which every, every photographer is talking about now, and then the original classic um, Lightroom. Overall, I think Adobe can improve in this area. Um, this was my second time coming here, and I really enjoyed the sessions and listening to um, the, the, the experts that are out in the field, but I felt like it was repetitive. Like, for instance, the information didn't get as deep as I wanted it, because I've, I've grown as an artist, and so I was seeking, seeking for something a little bit more meaty, something I can you know seek my teeth in so I could take away from. Most of it was a broad overview. Some things did get a little bit deep, but I felt like now if I'm going to go through these sessions, I want something a bit more, you know, it will challenge me. But I mean, that's probably my only critique. I'm definitely going to give Adobe my thoughts about that and the survey that they give out every year. If you've never experienced something like this, a creative convention, whether it be NAB, Photoshop World, et cetera, et cetera, someone who's either on the fence about using Adobe software, come on, it's 2017, get on it. You need these tools. But regardless of that, I, I, totally think you should go. You should just try to save up the money for next year. It is a pretty penny, but if you're a student, they have a great, a great discount for you to go. Um, if you're a creative on the fence about it, you should totally just, you know, suck it up and just go because if you're in a creative rut like I was in the past few weeks before this, I needed that energy. I needed that, that place to feel like I can really think my ideas through and just focus on making work or creating work or beginning to create work. If you like this video, give me a thumbs up, share it. Um, follow me on social media. Instagram is probably my most active social pla social media platform that I use. So make sure you you know give me a follow, reach out to me. All right, deuces.